Okay, we're going to talk about how to make a belt. So a couple of things you need uh, in order to make a belt. You're going to need a hole punch, a pair of scissors, rivets, a buckle, and a keeper. You can make your keeper out of leather, but we're going to use this metal keeper. Okay. We've got some blue leather, and you need enough leather to go all the way around your waist and then some. It's always good to have extra. You can always cut it shorter, but you can never cut it longer. So, uh, first thing we need to do is make sure that our slot punch fully encapsulates uh, the tongue, the toggle on our buckle. And so we're going to take a small section and just do a test piece to make sure that when we cut out our slot, we have enough to go all the way around. So, let's move all these out of the way. Lay that flat, and then line up the center. You can do this by eye. So, show that for the camera. Lining up the center, and this is just a test punch. We want to make sure we have the right slot. It's much easier to do that perfectly the first try than to find out, oh, I've got to lengthen it when you've done your whole assembly. So, I always just take a piece of scrap. Good habit, good practice. And then just make sure we can fully wrap around this little piece that's supposed to toggle. And you can see that we actually need to remove a little bit more material than the standard one inch. The width is fine, right? The width of the slot is fine, but the length itself needs to actually go a little bit further um, to give us the clearance that we want. So that's good to know early on. Now we're going to line it up again and just seat our punch into the slot. And then check to make sure we have enough clearance. Okay. That's pretty good. And we have more than enough, so we now know how much slotting we're going to need. There's our sample piece, there's our buckle, and this is where we get used to a lot of assembly. So there's a couple of things you can do. The easiest thing to do is just get a silver sharpie and transfer your slot over to exactly where you need it, but you want to make sure you have enough material here in the assembly to accommodate for your buckle and the keeper, right, because those are going to go in the same riveting operation, like this, sliding the keeper in as well, and then making sure that once you've done so, you have room to do your riveting operation below. So the riveting operation looks a little bit Make sure you have room for your keeper. A little bit like this. So you can measure your insets, or you can use your eyes. It depends on how comfortable you feel in your judgment. Generally, I'm trying to divide the leather in two thirds, and that will give you two subdivisions for uh, the spacing, right? Two spots for a hole with three sections of leather, and you want them to be fairly uniform. So again, you just want to mock up the whole assembly rivet coming through or the back side like so and then put the snap cap on top and then take the next rivet and then decide is this the spacing you like for your rivets? Do you want two? Do you want three? Aesthetically, how do you feel about that? Could these be bigger? Could these be closer together? Where are you at in terms of those decisions? Do you want your keeper to flop around? Do you want it to be tight and flush to the buckle? These are all things to consider in your design. Okay. 
After that, it's simple. You just end up. Put the cup side down, and then. And. So that's the primer. Now we're going to do it all again with everything laid out for the regular leather.